Hello, everyone. Dr. Nathan Bryan here. People ask me all the time, how do I know if I'm nitric oxide deficient? Is there a test? Is there labs we can run? And the short answer is no. Nitric oxide is a gas once it's produced and it's gone in less than a second. So we can't draw blood and measure your nitric oxide production. There's some functional medical devices that can determine endothelial function that I think have a very useful application in clinical practice. So what we rely on are symptoms. First sign and symptom is usually sexual dysfunction. If you can't dilate the blood vessels of the sex organs upon demand, you develop sexual dysfunction because dilation occurs from the production of nitric oxide. If you can't produce nitric oxide, you don't get dilation of the sex organs and you don't get engorgement. That's called sexual dysfunction in both men and women. Next, you start to see an increase in blood pressure. If you have a blood pressure greater than 120 over 80, then that tells us that your body's not making sufficient nitric oxide production. Next thing you start to see is metabolic disease. Nitric oxide is involved in insulin signaling and glucose uptake. Nine out of 10 Americans are metabolically unfit. That tells us that nine out of 10 Americans are deficient in nitric oxide. Number four, you start to develop exercise intolerance. If you can't walk up a flight of steps without becoming winded or walk across the room, we have to dilate the blood vessels of the coronary arteries of the skeletal muscles when we're working those skeletal muscles. And that occurs through the production of nitric oxide. If your body can't make nitric oxide, you can't dilate the coronary arteries, you can't dilate the pulmonary arteries, it leads to oxygen insufficiency, shortness of breath, sometimes chest pain, or exercise intolerance and muscle cramps. And then fifth, you start to see mild cognitive disorders. We can't dilate the blood vessels of the prefrontal cortex to recall memory through the production of nitric oxide. We lose our memory, we lose cognition. If not corrected, that develops into dementia and eventually Alzheimer's. So those are the signs and symptoms. But more importantly, I think, is people go, well, do I need to test? And for me, the answer is simple. We really don't need to test. There's only two people who need nitric oxide. There's the people who are sick or have these symptoms we just talked about. You need nitric oxide. They're sick who want to get healthy, need nitric oxide. The healthy who don't want to get sick need nitric oxide. So we have to learn to be proactive instead of reactive. If you have ED, high blood pressure, metabolic disease, exercise intolerance, or dementia, mild cognitive disorders, and loss of memory, you've already developed symptoms of nitric oxide deficiency. Now you need to be reactive and take steps to restore nitric oxide production. For me, I don't want to develop any of those symptoms. I take nitric oxide prophylactically to prevent the age-related decline so I don't develop any of those symptoms. And I think that's how we change the landscape of medicine. That's how we change the conversation from treatment to prevention. And nitric oxide is the foundation for that. Thank you very much.